The average mass of pupil in a class was 41.8 kg. When the mass of teacher was added, the average mass became 42.7 kg. What was the mass of the teacher? Now, this is an average question. So one thing you need to understand is um, um, the total average, total sum of the individual divided by 40 gave an average of what? 41.8. Now, total sum will now be 41.8 times 40. And when you multiply this, your total sum, it's going to give you, um, this is going to be 1672 kg. Okay, so now it says, when the mass of the teacher was added, so a new um, uh, mass was added, so that's going to be, let teacher be x. So it's going to be 1672 plus x, which is the teacher, divided by now. Recall you used 40 now, plus the teacher is now going to be what? 41. It says when the teacher was added, the average mass became 42.7. So this is going to be 42.7. So that means this is going to be 1672 plus x. Now when you multiply 41 by 42.7, you're going to get 1750.7. So that means x is going to be 1750.7 minus 1672.0. So when you do this subtraction, you're going to get x is going to be 78.7 kg. Final answer. So take your time, subtract it, you're going to get the 78.7 kg as your final answer. Now, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, click and share these videos with your friends. Okay, so um, a cylindrical tank of radius 5 meter and a height of 3.5 meter is full of water. On a certain day, the level of water dropped by 14 cm after being used for irrigation. How many liters of water were used on that day? So, in order to solve this question, the first thing you need to establish is it's a cylinder and um, we're talking about volume. So, you need to know that the formula for your volume is this. Now, it said um, the level of water dropped by was 40 cm and this was used for irrigation. So, we want to know the volume of water used for irrigation. So, the second thing is we want our units to be all uniform. So, we'll change 14 cm will be... 14 over 100 which will give us 7 over 50 now that's our height so all we need to do is apply our formula which is 22 over 7 times 5 square times um, 7 over 50 which is going to be 22 over 7 times 5 times 5 times 7 over 50 so here 7 is going to cancel at 7 5 here it's 1 we have here it's 10 5 here it's 1 we have here it's 2 2 here it's 1 and 2 into 22 it's 11 so our final answer is 11 meters cube and we are asked to find our answers in liters and you want you to know that the um, 1 meter cube is equal to 1000 liters so therefore, 11 meter cube is going to be 11 times 1,000. And that will give you 11,000 liters. So the correct answer here is um, A. So this question is very interesting. Uh, it says um, the figure shows a semi-circle of radius 3.5 centimeter enclosed in a rectangle. Now this is our shape. What is the area of the shaded part? Now, for you to solve this question, the first thing you need to know is here is 90 degree. So, you also know that um, this is a semicircle. So, this is called uh, your radius. So, from here to here, it's what? A radius. Now, notice from here to here, it's also a radius. So, get it. And um, now, if this side is equal to this side, that means this side is also equal to this side. So, here is 3.5. And here is also what? 3.5. That means from here to here is 3.5. So that tells you that this place, it's a square. So that's the first thing we want to establish. Now, 
all we need to do to get the area of this shaded part is our rectangle area of rectangle minus semicircle so we'll do the area of this area of rectangle minus area of a semicircle so now if here is from here to here is 3.5 that means from here to here it's also what 3.5 that means the total length of this place it's going to be what 7 cm so our rectangle here is 7 and here is 3.5 so rectangle it's going to be the area is going to be 3.5 times 7 which is um that's um 3.5 that's three and a half is going to give us um, 7 over 2 times 7 which will be 49 over 2. now for our semicircle it's going to be um pi r squared divided by 2 because it's half of a circle which is going to be 22 over 7 times our radius is um 7 over 2 that's 7 over 2 times 7 over 2 that's square then divided by 2 which is going to be 22 over 7 times 7 over 2 times 7 over 2 times because of our divide we're going to change it to 1 over 2 so 7 cancel 7 um, 2 here is 1 2 in 22 is 11 so we're going to get uh, 77 over 4 so recall we said area of this minus area of this so this is the area of our semicircle and this is the area of our re um, rectangle so it's going to be um, 49 over 2 minus 77 over 4 you draw your LCM this is 4 this is going to give us um, 4 into 2 is 2 2 times 49 it's 98 minus 77 now when you subtract this you're going to get um, 21 over 4 now 21 over 4 is the same thing as 5 whole number 1 over 4 and when you change 1 over 4 to decimal that's one quarter is to decimal place is going to be 5.25 so our units and this is our final answer so the correct answer here it's um d question 33 says messi has five bags of maize and peter has three bags of maize the mass of one bag of maize is represented by x plus 10 grams which of which one of the following expression will show the total mass of maize that they have now one thing you need to know it's um uh the bag of maize is represented one bag bag it's x plus 10. so if messi has five bags five bags is going to be five into x plus 10 and that's going to give us five x plus 10. Okay, sorry, this is going to be 5x multiplied by 10, which will give us um, 50. So, um, Peter has three bags, which is going to be 3 into x plus 10, and that's going to give us um, 3x plus 30. So, when you sum 5x plus 50 plus 3x plus 30, you're going to get 8x plus 80. So, final answer, 8x plus 80 so this is the correct answer question says what is this equation in the simplest form now in order to simplify this all you just do is open the bracket so 1 over 4 times 32 g is 32 divided by 4 and that's going to give you what 8 g plus 1 over 4 times 16 f is going to give you that's 4 f then plus 1 over 3 times 15 g is going to give you 5 g then 9f divided by 3 will give us what and that's 3f so when you collect like terms 8g plus 5g will give us 13g plus 4f plus 3f is going to give us um, 7f so our correct answer here it's um, b so um the next question says um what is the value of what is the value of x squared plus y squared all over x minus y given that x is equal to 8 so just substitute your values it's going to be 8 square plus um, 6 square or divided by um, 8 minus 6 so this is going to give you 64 plus um, 36 all divided by 2 so when you sum this up you're going to get 100 divided by 2 and your final answer it's 50 so correct answer here it's um, 6 so if this is your first time of coming don't forget to follow us 
don't forget to like our videos don't forget to share and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more videos